morning you guys it's Karen and I thought I would pop in and give you some ideas of what you can do beauty wise whilst in this lockdown period if you are in lockdown um I know that a lot of people have some spare time I certainly don't because we've got Watson there's no daycare and um, Kev is working from home and he's still working all day um, and I'm still trying to do you know all my usual things but some things are more popular for me just now so for example my online grooming course is very popular just now because all the grooms have been cancelled um so we're in full lockdown in the UK and this is day three. I'm actually feeling really stressed for I hope it doesn't come across in this video. Somebody said that I, I came across quite calm in I think it was my last video and I, I'm definitely feeling more stressed now. Um, it's more about Watson. M my stresses are around Watson and his health and the fact that the vets are so crazy busy and only open for emergencies that I can't get his usual medication I'm having to administer his injections and I haven't done it yet I'm doing it next week okay I did do some notes for some reason I ended up screwing it up by accident <laughs> that looks a bit like that but what I talked about here are um firstly I just men mentioned some safety things so what I've been struggling with is not touching my face I didn't realize how much I touched my face and how difficult it was to stop. As so there's a couple of things that I've written down here that I think will help safety wise. Um, and some of them with touching your face. One of them is lip balm. Use as much lip balm as you, as you can, because I think when you've got dry lips, that's when you're tempted to touch your lips. And if, if you wear eye makeup and you've got sensitive eyes, I would probably just try and avoid eye makeup at the moment because actually I've done the very thing that I'm telling you guys not to. I've got lashes on and that does irritate my eyes. Um, so I touch my eyes there, but I'm just touching the lashes. I am going to remove these lashes after I've stopped filming um, because they will make me itch my eyes and that's something we're obviously trying to avoid. You can still order online, whether or not those are, you know, those deliveries are essential or not is, is open to interpretation, of course, depending on what you're ordering. Um, but with deliveries, we've had a couple of deliveries. I had ordered some bras that were due and um, something else for the camera. I can't think what it is. Um, and they're just being left at the door, you know, and we're making sure we wash our hands after using the packaging. And some people are saying, well, you shouldn't be ordering things like makeup and whatnot because then you're putting the delivery drivers at risk. But the delivery drivers are, you know, really a key worker. And so they're working anyway. And I think that they want to work to continue to be paid. And so I don't know if nobody orders anything except for the essentials, then they won't, then they'll lose their jobs anyway. And we know lots of people who have already lost their jobs. Okay, so I have said, if you have extra time or if I had extra time, I would do these things as well. I would either do treatments or I would experiment and that's kind of with hair makeup nails all of that you know so I've jotted down some things you can do under the experiment category you can you could try and learn how to cut your own hair now obviously you're going to take a risk depending on what style you're going for how long your hair is how well it could be disguised etc and if it goes wrong you don't have a hairdresser to correct it but I know that a lot of you will be missing your hair appointments um I'm, I think, due a haircut in a week or so, and so obviously I'll be missing that. I may at some point want to tidy this up. You guys know I cut this sort of shape in here, and the way that I did that was just by watching tons of videos on how to do it. I suppose as well I am, you know, a trained groomer, so there is a little bit of overlap, and I did have my grooming scissors. That's what I used for my hair. Um, but I think you could probably order some nice scissors, um, some good scissors from Amazon, and like I said, watch as many videos as you can and then it's up to you if you want to take that risk. That's something you could attempt to do. I would say the back would be the hardest to do and I think it's probably easiest if you've got long hair so that, you know, long enough that you could part it, pull it round here and see the ends. Um, that's Those are the people that it would probably work best for. Um, or if you usually have your hair dyed, you could try out a real funky bright colour that you'd always wished you were you know brave enough to try but didn't want to go out in and um, that's something else you could do with makeup you can play with makeup to your heart's content you know sort out your makeup use colours that you've never tried before again yellow and orange Do you remember I did that yellow look that you guys all loved so you could try out a yellow eyeshadow an orange eyeshadow something really bright um, and with nails my nails are not looking the greatest at the moment I do need to do them they firstly the colour doesn't really match anything but I two of my nails snapped and so I just filed them all down um, and I need to redo these but you could attempt to do your own nails like a gel builder gel and extend your nails or strengthen your nails or do a French manicure or you know some kind of nail art. Amazon is still working although 
there's a lot of things on Amazon that you look at and the delivery isn't until May or June. So you need to be careful, be careful about the delivery dates, but you should be able to get some, some things to use for your nails. And again, follow tutorials, you know, watch as many as you can, because what's the worst that can happen? So that's everything under the experiment category. And then under the treatment category are basically mask type things. So you could do face masks that's something that you could spend time really pampering your skin you know give it a break from makeup but instead do things like a peel like the AHA peel from Desiem would be ideal um and then put a moisturizer mask on afterwards you know things like that onto nails if you don't want to learn anything new to do with your nails you know nail art or or build it up your nails or anything like that you could just take everything off and treat your nails um, and the best way to do that is to remove all your gel polish so the way i do it is i cut pieces of foil put a little bit of um cotton wool in the middle of the foil with some acetone and I wrap it around my fingers and just sit there for 10 minutes and then see if it's coming off and usually you can scrape it off then um, and then I will put oil on and I always use a mixture of Jehova oil and sweet almond oil because there's not many oils in fact they're the only ones that will properly penetrate your nails and for three days straight I just apply the oil onto my nails every couple of hours just every time I remember I will go and apply some oil after three days you can then put some kind of polish on gel polish normal polish polish to seal that oil in and you can do your nails again you know so I think that this would be an ideal time to do that randomly I, I thought baby foot would be a good thing to do just now if you've ever tried one of those foot masks where or foot peels where your foot peels obviously you don't want to be going to any events while you're having all the skin peeling off your feet so now would be an ideal time to do something like that i'll try and link any of these things i'll have a look on amazon and find ones that are actually delivering in in the next little while um last but not least hair you can do treatment masks and not just a treatment mask where you leave it on you could just use your normal conditioner and leave it on for a couple of hours and rinse it out um which will be easier when when none of us are going anywhere um but also you could do the thing where you put oil on any oil that you've got in your cupboard pretty much will do um i've mostly used almond oil over the years where i just saturate my hair with oil um, so it looks wet at night and then I will wash it out the following day with um, some kind of deep cleansing shampoo and that really really helps the condition of the hair. So those are the things that I would say beauty wise you can do. I jotted down a few other things that certainly I've been doing a little bit more of even though like I said I, I don't technically have any extra time but exercise online. I've been doing Pilates videos because obviously the gym is closed so I would normally not normally I've been trying to go to the gym lately so instead I've been doing Pilates videos so I've done a few of those and they've been really it's really nice to stop and do some exercise and some stretches and things like that and pretty much anything you want to do will be on YouTube you know somebody will have done a video I'm also using this time to write down what I'm grateful for you know so I'm grateful that we have heating and hot water and that you know I live in a nice area and that there's plenty of open spaces and that I'm healthy you know that I've not got the virus that kind of thing that my family are healthy I'm, I'm also thankful for all the community spirit that's going on that's really quite uplifting um cook and bake that's something I am we are able to do because obviously Kev is working from home just now so he doesn't have the commute so there's more time to spend on dinners and I can bake things that are keto I'm still doing the keto diet um and so Kev is able to do more cooking which means we're able to experiment with a few different things spring clean of course start youtube or social media if that's something you've kind of had on your list of to do's you know then get your account started you don't even need to tell people about it just get content up there you know so that when you're ready you can advertise it um do a short course that's something i would definitely do i love doing short little training courses you know there's so many companies out there that do really inexpensive ones like you can get them from 20 pound you know and just learn a new skill you can probably do one on hairdressing um, and the final thing is TikTok dance. I just think, I think this would be great for teenagers, actually. Um, I've just discovered TikTok. I had no idea what it was and I kept hearing people talking about TikTok. So I thought, let me check what it is. And it's kind of obsessive because you just scroll and the next one and the next one and the next one, you know, and, it, and it's really fun and there's a little bit of music. And I think that's a really nice sort of light entertainment thing. Um, but like I said, if, if for not just teenagers, but anybody that has their health, I couldn't manage to do some of the dances, but I did put... I tried to do the stair shuffle just on a curb um, and it looked ridiculous, but I filmed it and it's on Patreon. Um, 
because I was convinced I would be able to do that, but we don't have stairs uh, because it's not good for my knees and my knees are killing me after doing the one on the, on the road roadside. But um, yeah, I would definitely recommend having a look at TikTok. It's very, very funny. Um, and trying to share all the jokes you get. I'm trying to share as many as I can on Instagram and I'll send them like to my family and whatnot because I think we really do need to laugh in this kind of time, don't we? That's everything to tell you today. I know this was a bit of an unusual video. I just felt like I wanted to do one related to what's going on, you know, um, because it feels weird to be doing normal videos although I will of course I am going to do a haul and tell you things that I bought before all the all of this went on and whether they're working for me or not um I'm also going to do an Amazon favorites I don't know whether I'll do that on this channel or over on my the other channel we'll see but I will be, do more normal videos but I just thought um this one might be helpful to you so let me know what your situation is I'd love to know if you have got extra time, is it because you've lost your job or is it because you're working from home and don't have a commute? Or, you know, where is where is your extra time coming from? Or is it because you're very social? Because I think for us, we weren't very social anyway. I mean, Kev was in the fact that he would go to golf on a Saturday and he would go to the driving range every night. As I suppose he's probably going to feel weirder being at home than I will because I'm always at home. The only time I go out is to walk Watson to go and visit the shops but you know I can do that online if I want to and to go and meet my friend for lunch which we were supposed to be meeting for lunch this week and obviously that won't be happening so um for me I guess it's easier and life is more normal um but yeah I'd love to know what your situation is how you're feeling about it all um is your country on lockdown is has it been in lockdown do you think it should be in lockdown and yeah, where, where, where is this all going to end? It is quite frightening. Like I said, I am feeling quite stressed about it at the moment, but it's sort of, my feelings go up and down. Um, I think it just takes a bit of getting used to. I think that's what it is. So I hope you're all well anyway. Um, and I hope that none of you are hoarding or panic buying and, you know, are trying to help others like in our community we are. I suppose I'm spending a bit more time on that as well because like I said, we've got a group together that are helping other people. Um, but I think that's lovely. So thank you so much for watching today. I'll quickly tell you what I've got on makeup wise. I've got on the Kiko Full Coverage Foundation in WB15. On my eyes is the Makeup Addiction Cosmetics Pigment in Valentine. Um, on my lips is, well, it looks like it needs a bit of gloss, doesn't it actually? It's the Queen Bee. It's called Queen Bee. It's by Too Faced and it's a liquid lipstick called Queen Bee. On my cheeks is MAC blush and stubborn um, and that's everything thank you so much for watching and i'll speak to you again soon